I personally think this game is going to stay and be a very high-scoring game because both of these teams can put the ball in the basket. Late clock, Ace Baldwin gets the first one down for the Nittany Lions. I mean, when you have a league guard that can put the ball in the basket, I mean, who else you want shooting the ball? Wisconsin breaks the pressure, and Klesmit stays hot. He has been on an absolute tear the last two games on offense. Penn State working with some tempo. There's a three for Zach Hicks, and that goes. If Penn State can force them to play in the 70s and 80s, then they're playing to their strengths. And the survival for Wisconsin, and Wahab with the block on wall, and that's going down with Penn State. In practice, you know, they're out by the logo running their offense. That's not something that they're comfortable doing. And another deflection, down to four to shoot. It's Wall on the take, and they survived it anyway. Disrupt this half-court offense. Now they're back into their swing action, something that when they're struggling to score, something that they go to, and there's Stephen Crowell with the big-time flush over two guys, something that they're comfortable with. You know, they've been doing the European-style ball screen, ball screen continuity, but when they're struggling to score, they go back to that, that Greg Gard, Bo Ryan special, that swing offense that everybody knows and loves from Wisconsin. Crowell had the dunk. He has the re A lot of referees are going to call that a jump ball every time. A.J. Storer agrees with you that that was a foul. And that three is another hit for Zach Hicks. More dangerous to deal with. You got guys that can make threes in DeMarco Dunn, Kanye Clary, and when Ace Ball was shooting the ball the way he is, they're just spreading the floor out, and now Wisconsin's almost scared to hit. Uh, that counts of this first half at 12 points. And Blackwell, pull up, and knocks it down. Basketball John Blackwell. Another Working the clock, Wisconsin in the half court on defense. And that counts plus the foul. A loss in a league game. Oh, Kern cradled it. And nice recovery for Ilver to get a hand on it. Now Storr out in transition. The fake and the slam. Wow. Let's see if that's one that pushes Wisconsin closer ahead of the under four. Here's Blackwell on the take, and back-to-back -back plays at the rim for the Badgers, and a timeout for Penn State. Wherever he sees fit. Uh, that timeout, Wall has the defense, helping out Blackwell on the drive from Baldwin. And there's the steal for Kern. He'll keep it himself. Penn State can't afford to take. You know, they're highly contested, very, very tough shots. And there's Wisconsin again with another turnover. Trying to do a little too much in the paint. Oh, Clary. That looked like an impossible angle. He's been making exceptional finishes all season, but that, that had to be at the top of the list. Now with the spin, Wahab with the recovery. But Wisconsin keeps it on the hustle for Wall. And Wall runs Hicks off the line, and Hepburn helps him out with the steal. Up ahead, store. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Watch your head. You're on my flight pad, and I'm taking you with me. Great pass by Chucky Hepburn. Excellent finish by A.J. Storr. And Clary gives him the lead right back. And Greg Gard was telling us about one of those he had in practice recently. Just like that. Crowl with the turnaround to tie this game right back up. After he got it back, it's back in the hands of Clary. Lock dripping down to 10. Fall away goes, and a foul. Bledsmith saying, are you kidding me? This is a night that Mike Rhodes put Kern back into the starting lineup because he was scoring the last couple of games. Clary off the hesitation. I mean, he completely froze Storr and stopped him in his tracks. He hesitated and he went and finished as a lefty with his right hand high and soft right off the glass. And he's got his 10th 20-point game of the season. Kanye Clary and Crowell is all alone for Wisconsin and made the extra pass to his teammate, making the right play. That was an excellent play, very unselfish by Zach Hicks. The crowd diving to the rim for the dunk. Penn State's going to have to continue to rotate on that backside. And trying to come back from what was once a 12-point hole. Tied at 72. No look, pass Wahab from Baldwin. Great play there from Ace Baldwin. Still had only 11 teams. And that's taken away. Hepburn, can he secure it? No, Baldwin pushes it ahead to Dunn. Wahab is up ahead! Final ticks, A.J. Storr. That counts, point four on the clock. And Penn State inbounds, and they will not keep him off the floor in State College.